The all-wheel drive motorcycle concept started back as a senior project at Villanova University. We had to do a project that would actually build and design something. And I had always been into mountain bikes and always been into uh, helicopter technology, specifically remote control helicopters. So the tail rotor system was what inspired me to build the first two-wheel drive bicycle. That bicycle was built as a project, it was successful. We then patented the technology. Um, once that uh, patent issued, launched the company, and then started fabricating and building uh, two-wheel drive mountain bikes. We got picked up by Jeep and then worked with some other companies like Raleigh, um, and that was the inspiration to build the first motorcycle prototypes. This was back in 2002 to 2004 when we first built prototypes for Honda, Kawasaki, and some of the other big companies to actually validate and prove that the all-wheel drive technology was, was something that could be put into the marketplace. Once we had the technology fully developed, we actually started doing testing with the U.S. military, and we were fortunate enough to get into the special ops groups out in North Carolina and in other parts of the country. Uh, the bike is so easy to ride, it's so versatile that even a beginner rider who's never ridden a motorcycle can do things that are, are pretty much impossible. So that's why they ended up picking the bike up and now we actually have bikes uh, with the U.S. Special Forces, uh, UK, uh, Jordanian, UAE and some others. And it's, it's been a, an exciting time because this is a technology that allows them to do things that they otherwise couldn't do. Uh, going beyond that, we have our racing part of the business, and that's where we are, are happy and very excited to be able to compete in the X Games, um, both internationally and in the U.S., and we've been doing that for six years, um, a few years longer in general racing, but we compete at the, at the top level of worldwide with some incredible riders. Um, one of them is a local guy named Wally Palmer, and we've also had some other um, top pro riders in the past too. So that's one of the other aspects of our business that keeps things really exciting here. The future of the company is, is really focused on not just off-road, which is where we started, but also on the street side of things. We have a bike that's uh, for the purpose of adventure riding, has some great technology benefits with all-wheel drive. So we do have plans to build bigger adventure bikes as well as other models that'll fit within the motorcycle world. 